let me go ahead and comment and be like you are so ugly you look different with and without makeup because it's not obvious because you're not watching this video after you make it or you don't have a mirror so let me state the obvious this is me some days i like to wear a lot a lot of makeup and some days i like to wear no makeup at all this is probably most of the time actually and sometimes i like to wear something in between most of the times i love wearing a bold lip despite what season it is i love a lot of glow i love a full pair of lashes to add a little bit of glam but that's a sometimes thing i don't do it all the time my brows never look good they're either too dark or too light never perfect and this right here right here is me i look completely different with and without makeup and I'm aware of that, but that makes me happy too because it makes me feel like I had the artistic ability to really enhance a face. I know how to make eyes appear really large and lifted. I know how to make your lips look full and luscious. I know how to make your brows look a little bit more full, darker, or even very light and natural for those of you who like it. I know how to define the face. I'm not saying I'm the best at all these things, but I know how to do it and I know how to make it look natural or dramatic. In this video, I will be addressing all the hate comments I have been getting on my channel regarding how I look, how disgusting I look without no makeup, and how I look like a completely different person with makeup, how I make some people feel like throwing up. I want to share some of my hate comments with you guys. I want to talk about self-love, of course. I want to talk about these people who have no lives, and I also want to talk about a couple of other things. Hope you guys like this video. Let's get started. You guys are going to be hearing thunder in the back as we go because there's a lot of thunder outside because it's raining, hence the horrible, horrible lighting today. But I wanted to really film this video for you guys, so I hope you guys don't mind. But recently, I have been getting so many hate comments on YouTube and you guys, like, will not believe. I literally wake up to hate comments every single day. The first comment I wanted to read for you guys is from a guy. It says, I'm going to tell your mom that you wear clothes like this. You're a woman. Because of you, because of people like you, women are thought to look as sluts and whores. Now, I know that I like to wear various things. Most of the time I'm wearing black, but I can assure you, I know I do not dress like a whatever he said. And they are judged because you and many other girls uh, act slightly... He doesn't even know me. He's never even seen me. How does he know how I act? And then it says, but like, damn, makeup made you look fine. When I go on a date next time, I will make sure to bring my date to a pool so I know that she's pretty. Instead of being an ugly, want to be cutie whore like you. First of all, that was a weird sentence. It did not even make sense. He, I, don't, mm, I have no words for this guy. It makes no sense what he said. But I'm not going to really make this into replying to a date, um, haters kind of video. I just really want to talk about the topic. So I'm just going to go on to the next comment. I'm sure guys find you beautiful but for me I always make sure before I commit to a girl I see her without makeup trust me makeup can take a girl who's 2 out of 10 to a 5 out of 10 I nearly jumped out of my skin at 47 seconds in that video that's why I appreciate girls who wear little to no makeup that way they aren't hiding their true beauty I'm sure he thinks for some reason that true beauty is all in the face but I believe otherwise going on this is from one of the guys that I said earlier that keep like commenting on all my videos. He's like, oh my god, you're so ugly. The makeup makes you look hot and beautiful, but really, you're hideous. I feel like vomiting when I see your ugly face, yet you keep going through all my videos. This is why people tell others to bring their date to the pool before coming committing to a relationship because they might turn out to be ugly. I'm sorry if I was rude. No offense. Like, no offense. <laughs> but on the bright side, you look really pretty with the makeup. Good luck with your channel. This one doesn't really have to do too much with makeup, but it's just really funny, so I had to tell you guys this. I shared it on my Twitter, but it says, your boyfriend is going to cheat on a fairer, more better figure than you. <laughs> it's just so funny to me. These are just some of the comments I was able to find that I still had on my phone from showing my friends, but literally guys, every day I wake up to comments with people calling me ugly because I look like a different person with and without makeup. Now, to me, I personally take that as a compliment because I am a makeup artist. I want to look different when I wear makeup. That's why I'm wearing the makeup. I want to look, my uneven eyes look a little bit more lifted up instead of going out straight. I want my sparse brows to look a little bit darker because I like dark full brows. I want my uneven colored lips 
to be one color and I want to play with colors because as an artist that's what I like. I want my not sculpted cheeks at all to be a little bit more sculpted. I want to add a little bit of blush to the face. I want to add a lot of glow to the face even though I'm super oily but I'm able to control that with foundation. I have no makeup on this side. Look how oily I am compared to this side. And what this is with makeup. I'm a super oily person regardless. This makes me look a little bit more matte. I wear makeup to make myself feel better. Not to impress anyone, nobody, not even my boyfriend. I will go in front of my boyfriend with and without makeup. It doesn't make a difference. He doesn't even notice half the time. I don't care what he thinks of me. I will go TMI with my hairy legs on and put it on his leggings. My point with saying that is I don't wear makeup to impress anybody, even my boyfriend. I personally don't try to impress anyone and I'm sure that's the case for many, many girls who wear a lot of makeup or even wear a little bit of makeup. We do it for ourselves and I don't understand why it's so hard for some people to understand that. Yeah, some girls want to wear makeup when they go on a date or something because they want to feel confident. Makeup, ooh. wearing a little bit of a red lip or a little bit of mascara sometimes can build up a girl's confidence. It's like a guy when he goes to go on his first date, for example, might go and get a haircut. Why is that it's okay for you to cut your hair or shave your beard and be like, oh, look, this is me naturally. No, that's not you naturally because you went and got that done to enhance something or to take away something. Same thing as makeup. Now, I'm not saying that it's only guys say these things to girls. So many girls hate on girls and they say these same things. And to be honest, I really feel like it's a self-hate thing. They're not really comfortable with themselves and they don't like that another girl shows confidence. A lot of women, even men, a lot of people, when they see confidence in someone, they try to tear it down when they're not confident. It's like, how are you so happy with your life? How are you fine with looking like that? Let me bring you down. That's like my knowledge on it because I don't understand how or why else other people would try to intentionally put other people down for something as simple as applying something on your face. Come on now. It's not just me. So many girls, so many girls, especially in the beauty industry, get put down all the time for wearing makeup. Why does it bother you when that money for the makeup is coming through my pocket, not your pocket? It's going on my face, not your face. Don't get me wrong, if you like a girl who doesn't cake her face as much as I do, don't go for that girl. Go for the other girl who looks really natural and beautiful. That's your opinion, but do not degrade other girls because they're not what you think is attractive. Just because someone has black hair and doesn't have blonde hair, for example, you're not going to go to the girl with the black hair and be like, your hair is so black, you are ugly. No, you, you're not going to do that. That Just because you don't find that attractive and you find blonde hair attractive, you're not going to go do that. Same thing with something that is on their face. You don't go to someone and be like, you're unattractive because this is what I prefer. It's your preference. It doesn't, it's not a fact. It's a preference. Do you get it? Are you getting what I'm trying to say? <laughs> Another thing I wanted to talk about is when people say, oh, I want someone who's naturally beautiful, who's naturally beauty. Like, I want to see their natural beauty. Blah, blah, blah. Beauty comes within. If you're a person who genuinely believes beauty is only defined by what you see here, you're wrong. You're wrong. But then again, that might be your preference and you might be a shallow person, but I can't do anything about that. Sorry. Sorry, I had to say it. If you're shallow, I can't do anything about you being shallow. Think about how many movies we watch and stuff like, or even people you know, and the person is beautiful when you see them. They're a beautiful person, whether it's a guy or a girl, they're gorgeous. And then you get to know them, and then they don't have the best personality. You automatically start to realize they're not attractive. You start noticing the flaws in them and all that stuff, because what's inside is what matters. It's the same thing as like going out with someone you're not really attracted to at first and you grow to find them so attractive if their personality is good. That's what matters. At the end of the day, what's inside is what counts. What I put on my face here, what any girl puts on her face here or doesn't put on her face here, that doesn't matter. Even if, if it's a girl who doesn't wear makeup at all, she might not wear makeup at all. She might look unattractive to you, but what's inside is what matters. She might be the most beautiful girl ever if you get to know her. Do you know what I mean? Or guy. Of course, I'm talking about guys and girls. I wanted to talk about all the hate comments that girls get on their channels, especially the beauty channels, when people go to a beauty channel to watch makeup tutorials and then talk about how the girl or guy is wearing too much makeup. How does this make sense? You went to go watch a makeup tutorial in the thumbnail you can see 
how the person is going to look most of the time, the end result. And if you feel like that is too much makeup on the person's face, why do you click it? Why don't you just click on a more natural makeup tutorial? There are some beauty gurus who like to go full out with their makeup all the time, look super flawless, look super beautiful. And there's some beauty gurus who, I don't know why I said beauty gurus, but like, you know what I mean, like beauty accounts who don't wear a lot of makeup and that's what their channel revolves around. Why don't you just find something that you're more interested in rather than going to something you're not interested in and then putting down the person? How does one even decide to write a hate comment? I don't even understand that. Think about it, it's like the person is sitting behind the computer and they're like, hmm, this girl's wearing a lot of makeup. I need to let her know that she has a cake face and she does not look the same before and after makeup because she has no idea. So let me go ahead and comment and be like, you are so ugly, you look different with and without makeup because it's not obvious because you're not watching this video after you make it or you don't have a mirror. So let me state the obvious. It's so stupid. Why are people so stupid? Why does it matter? Like, how do you like come up with the thought to even write something so rude to someone? It's not even just regarding makeup, anything. How do people, and why do people bother writing rude things to people? It's so, like, I genuinely think those people have something really, really wrong with them deep within inside, within, within them, which makes them want to tear everyone else down. And they don't realize it. I don't understand how they don't realize it, how they don't realize how much it could genuinely affect people. Right now, it doesn't affect me so much because to be honest, I've started to get hate comments recently because my channel is growing. It's not huge, but it's definitely growing. And because of that, there's more new audience and more people who don't like me, who think I'm hideous, which I don't care for. But because of that, it's new. So it hasn't affected me so much yet. But imagine those like bigger YouTubers that have thousands, like millions of subscribers and stuff who see this every day. Imagine how much it can emotionally and mentally bother them. And to think that there's people behind their screen who think it's okay to say those things to someone just like boggles, boggles my mind. I don't understand. After you write the hate comment to you, I'm asking you, cause I'm 100% sure at least what a few of you who genuinely think I'm uglier and are like waiting to write something, I'm asking you, I'm looking at you in your eye, okay? How can you write something like that to someone? And then like, what do you do after it? You go like, yes. I accomplish something for the day and then just like go about your day. Like what runs through your mind after? I'm curious. I'm genuinely curious what runs through these people's mind after. I'm genuinely just a really curious person. The sun is coming out. Yay. I don't really have anything more to say to these people that actually take the time to write these comments except for the fact that you have no life. You would probably never actually say these things to the people straight to their face. And you should probably reevaluate yourself and you should probably learn to know the difference between having a preference and having a actual fact. At the end of the day, you're a bully. You're basically a cyber bully. You have problems with yourself, so you like to put other people down. It's fine. I personally don't take anything from it, but there are people who do. So next time, before you actually decide to write something really rude to someone, just think about it. Is it really going to do anything for your life by you saying something so negative to someone? Are you going to benefit in any way? Is that person really going to stop wearing makeup for you, someone who they don't know? They probably don't care for either. Think about it. It's not going to do anything for you. If anything, you could really, really emotionally affect someone by doing that. Just think about it for a second. To be honest, if you're someone who genuinely always writes hate comments on people, I know you're not going to listen. I know this video probably means nothing to you, but I wanted to put it out there. Now, I purposely did no makeup and half makeup because I don't care. I don't care. I went to work like this yesterday because we had a theme where we were supposed to do half makeup and no makeup. I literally did the same look. I didn't try playing it safe. I don't care. What people think about me. You really need to learn to not care what people think about me. Would I be lying if I said that I never ever care what people think about me? Yes, I would totally be lying. Of course I have times where I will be like, oh this person's gonna think that, that person's gonna think that. Personally there's even certain places here I don't like going to because I know of how the crowd is and the way people look at me because they kind of recognize me and I get negative attention from it in certain areas here and I don't like avoid those places as much as I can. I do care what people think about me, but it depends on how you take it yourself. If you have self-confidence, there's nothing that can break you down. Nothing. I guarantee you, if you ever see me walking around in Scarborough Town Center, which is a mall here, 
I look like this. 99% of the time on my days off, I look like this. I look like this to work. I don't even look like this to work all the time. Sometimes I look like in between. I really have learned, I would say that I have learned to love myself as I said in my dark skin video, but I've learned to not care. Your opinion doesn't do anything. You say something rude to me and you forget it. Okay, you forget it the next second. But the person you're saying that to thinks about it, thinks about it, rewinds it in their head, rewinds it in their head, ruins their mood, gets mag gets angry at other people because of what you said and all that stuff. It just ruins everything. You really need to learn to just some things in this year out the other. You have to really learn to not care what irrelevant people say in your life. Even significant people like your family, who cares? They tell you you look ugly with or without makeup. Who cares? It's only girls that wear a lot of makeup that get hit. A lot of girls that don't wear makeup get hit. They're like, oh, my mom said I should try wearing more makeup because like, you know, I need to look better when we go out. No, you do what makes you happy. You do what makes you feel beautiful. I know having self-love and self-confidence and stuff is so much easier for someone to like say it to you more than for you to gain. But I really want to make a video on that. I will because of all the issues kind of that I've faced. I've faced a lot. It took me a long journey to get to where I am. I'm not saying I love myself, I'm not saying I'm super confident, trust me, I'm not. But I do have a lot within me. I'm a strong person, I'm mentally strong, I know I am, and I'm able to block out certain things. I do sometimes rewind the things people say to me inside my head, and 90% of the time now it just goes out. And you learning to kind of do that for yourself, you're doing it for yourself, no one else. You learning to block out the negativity in your life, it's going to change your life so much, so much. So, so much, like so much. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to talk about is whether it's for you as an individual or for the people that are hating on you because of the amount of makeup you're wearing, you have to remember it does not change you as a person. You have to remember that. You being able to achieve a full glamorous look does not make you any better of a person than someone who's not capable of doing makeup. Same thing goes to the people that hate on you. Just because a girl's wearing a full face of makeup does not make her any less of a person, any less of a good person, any less of a decent person, any less of a person that's actually beautiful at heart, it does not make them any less of a person than the person who's not wearing makeup. People really need to understand that. Whether it's you as a person with the makeup on or the person that's watching the person with the makeup on, what you have on your face doesn't define you as a person. What's inside is what defines you as a person. And honestly, if you learn to believe that, you're gonna be so much happier in life. You're gonna be able to meet so many more new people. You're gonna be able to even end up being with someone who could be so amazing, but you don't like, even give them an opportunity because of how they look. The looks don't last, looks change. A guy can go from a one to a 10 just by adding a little facial hair or taking away a little facial hair. A girl can go from a 1 to a 10 with a little bit of makeup, with a lot of makeup, with no makeup. Some girls look beautiful with a lot of makeup. Some girls look beautiful with no makeup. Some girls look beautiful with a little... All girls look beautiful and always. Don't get me wrong. But we have to really, really realize that it's a preference. It's not a fact. And we have to realize that's what's inside that counts. That's what's going to define you what's inside. I look like this most of the time. Sometimes I look like this. Sometimes I'm in between, like I said before, but that does not change me as a person ever. I will never act cocky because I have a full face of makeup, but I'll never act shy and timid because I have no makeup on. You'll never see me acting that way. Don't get me wrong, I am shy. If you meet me for the first time, I'm shy, but it doesn't change me as a person when I'm with people. I am still awkward. I'm awkward as awkward can be. I do too many hand actions when I talk. I sneeze like a puppy, it's a fact. I literally sound like a puppy's sneeze. No, a puppy's bark when I sneeze. I don't like walking on grass. I don't like onions. I love being loud. I'm an extra loud, loud person. I'm extra in all ways possible. I'm a drama queen. I really am. Those things will never, ever change despite how much makeup I have and how much makeup I don't have. And nothing is going to change about you. Saying that, I think I'm going to stop this video before I keep going on and on and on. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to click that thumbs up button. And I'd love to read your comments in this video because I love hearing your personal experiences and all that stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.